Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Don't forget, if you like the video, click on like and subscribe and talk about it on chat lines, wherever it is your social media activities and help us to grow and help more people. I'll talk to you soon. Sid here says, hello General. Sid, male 34, still in Estonia. Haven't gone back. Oh, all right, you're stuck there. Right? <laughs> uh, your old uh, playground. Says, I have so much to share. I feel awesome meeting people here. Great healing. Uh, not thinking of the person in Manchester. All right. But I'm becoming a bit impatient. For what? I meet girls, but I crave for love. And I crave for a relationship at the moment. Something effing <laughs> wrong with me, General. No, there's nothing wrong with you. You just have to learn to live like a, like James Bond. You go to a new city, new villains, new angels, and you taste the you know sweet taste of this uh, pleasant girl that you meet. <laughs> you move on. That's it. You got to stop trying to turn impermanent to permanent. Suffering starts when you start expecting to turn impermanent to permanent. Enjoy the experiences that you go through. Do not try to turn joy into pleasure and then in turn into permanent. In other words, have a bite of the apple and say, wow, that's great, but I don't need to have apple every day. I'm just going to focus on this bite and enjoy it and think of it this is all there is. That's it. A bite for me. Thank you. But when you take that bite and say, ah, apple, great. Another bite. Mm, good. I want to have an apple every day now. Now you're in fear of what if I don't have apple every day? You're trying to turn a, a impermanent, a one bite, a joy, an experience into continuous pleasure of it every day. That becomes a fear and anxiety source. Settle for what it is and don't expect more of that what it was tasty and then let it be. If it happened to be more another apple another day, I'll take another bite. Great. But I'm not going to sit around and cry about why this cannot be every day. I don't want it to be every day. I want to see what every day has. If it turned out to be every day, well, that would be a choice between the apple and me. <laughs> so, the key to your dilemma is stop trying to make permanent out of impermanent. The whole venue of life is impermanent. We all are born and at one point in time, naturally having experienced certain things that we have to experience in life, we die. Well, we're not worried about, oh, I want that to be permanent. If it's not, I feel miserable all my life. You don't. You just think about the moments that you have and you try to fulfill those moments as best as you can. But when it comes to some kind of an apple or some experience or relationship or having been loved or being in a relationship, suddenly you want it to be constant all the time. You're trying to take make a permanent situation in an impermanent whole experience of life. The whole thing that we are living in is impermanent, but you want permanent things in it which is going to bring you anxiety, impatience, and all that. Understand that this is a world of impermanence, and I'll take and appreciate every little bit of the bite of the apples that I can get. And that's all there is to every bite. I don't want it to be more. If it's more, great, but I'm not going to sit and wait for it and therefore be impatient and have anxieties. All right, I hope that helps you out. Subscribe on my channel, visit my channel, and go through the videos that you might be interested in. Mindatseekstruth.com, making it one step away to talk to me one-on-one -on, -one on Skype and discuss what's concerning you. I'll talk to you soon.